Greetings, my name is Heather Merck, and I am the content coordinator for the Plant Breeding and Genomics Community of Practice at eExtension.org. The Plant Breeding and Genomics Community of Practice is, initi is an initiative of the Solanaceae Coordinated Agricultural Project, or SOLCAP. Today I will be speaking to you on behalf of SOLCAP, and the topic will be the SOLCAP tomato phenotypic data. Estimating Heritability and Trade Blops. Before moving so now that we have set our working directory, let's bring in our data. So to bring in our BRICS data set, we're going to use the command read.csv and enter our file name and also let R know that our data has a header. Once we have that statement read in correctly, we want to check to make sure that our data was actually imported correctly. And three commands that I like for doing this are the structure command, which will show you sort of the structure of your data set, how many factors you have, whether those are numeric or they're integers, etc. And then the head command will print out the first few rows of your data. The tail command will print out the last few rows of your data. Once you're satisfied that your data has been imported correctly, you can use the attach command to attach your data set. And by the way, my intention here is for you to follow along with me. So please feel free to either type these commands um, into R or to copy and paste from the script file. So let's take a look at our BRICS data set. We can do this first using a histogram and the command hist in R. And we can look at our frequency distribution, which doesn't look too bad. And just for fun, I've decided to color the bars gold. And that was using the command col equals and gold in quotation marks. So we also might be interested to see how degrees BRICS vary by location. So I've done this in a box plot. And I've also uh, put some labels on my on my graph, uh, x lab and y lab to name the x and y axes, and main to put a main title on my graph. This time around I decided to color uh, my boxes in pink. So, let's start thinking about our multi-year, multi-location data and what kind of model we would like to use. So, just to recap, we have BRICS data from 143 lines that was collected in two years, two locations in each year, and also two reps per location. So, our model will look like the following. BRICS is proportional to line plus loc plus year plus rep within year or rep within location by year plus line by location interaction plus line by year interaction. Note that in R we can denote nesting using the percent in percent uh, notation and we can denote interactions using either a colon, as I have here, or an asterisk between terms. So when we have this type of data, we need to make decisions whether to treat our main effects as fixed or as random, and this will have implications for our analysis. So we use fixed effects when we're really just interested in, say, particular genotypes or years, locations, etc. We use random effects when we believe our data are drawn from a subset of all possible genotypes or locations or years. So for many plant breeding applications, we would consider our main effects to be random and we would want to estimate the proportion of variance due to the effects in our experimental design. For example, when we make estimates of heritability. We can work with random effects 
using the LME4 package in R. So before we can use the package, we need to install and load it. So you install a package just the first time that you want to use it. And this is done most easily by clicking on the Packages menu and Install Packages from the R GUI interface. From there, you select the package that you would like to install. Anytime you want to use a package, however, you need to load it into R. You load a package using the library command. So in this case, we type in library LME4, and this will load our package for us. So we're now ready to estimate or to calculate our variance components. We need to first enter in our model, and we're going to use the LME R command in R. And so our model, once again, is bricks is proportional to line plus location plus year plus rep within location by year plus line by location interaction plus line by year interaction. And the one followed by the bar in this model is used to denote random effects. To see our variance components, we use the summary command. And I've included the output on the slide, and I've put a box around the variance components. We can now use these to estimate our heritability on a line mean basis. So for our experiment, heritability is equal to the variance due to line divided by the variance due to line plus the variance due to line by location divided by 2 as we have two locations, plus the variance of the line by year interaction divided by two, as there are two years in our experiment, plus our residual variance divided by two, oh, divided by four, pardon me. That comes from multiplying two by two. We can then plug in our values from our variance components table, and for degrees bricks, we get a heritability of 0 0.72. So when we estimated our heritability, we ignored our main environmental effects. And the justification for doing so is in part because it's assumed that we will take these into account prior to making selections. We can do this by making our selections based on blops. I'd like to acknowledge the following groups and individuals for their contributions to this work. First, I'd like to thank collaborators at Ohio State University uh, within the research group of Dr. David Francis, and that would include Dr. Sungcher Sim, Deborah Leabuff, Troy Aldrich, and Nancy Horachi Morehan. I'd like to thank collaborators Dr. Alan Van Dynes and Sean Yarns at UC Davis. Nankui Tong at Campbell Soup, Dr. Jay Scott and Dr. Sam Hutton at the University of Florida, Dr. Joanne Labatt, the USDA ARS in Geneva, Dr. Meg McGrath at Cornell Long Island, Dr. Dilip Penthi at NC State University, Dr. Robin Buell and Dr. Candy Hansi at Michigan State, and Dr. Lucas Mueller and Dr. Nama Menda at SGN.